So we got these new sweepers on this model about a year ago, and we had this big white space on the side and thought, gosh, we, we need to figure out something to fill this up. And so we rolled out this project. Uh, we had a total of about 70 um, submissions of art. Um, Olivia's was the, the first that came in within about a week of the project going out. She had a great description that describes um, the, the sky and the river and the gradient of clean on the left to as it gets dirty on the right. And uh, anyway, it, a, a great job. So we selected five of these and uh, this is the first we rolled out. So Olivia, if you come up here. Um, first, I wanted to show what the river looked like in its natural phase, which I think is really beautiful. And then I wanted to show how, when we neglect to take care of it, that it can go wrong and it will turn into something we don't want. So I just wanted to show that process. Was this the first time you saw it when you walked in the door? Yeah. What was your thought? Um, I was actually kind of shocked. It's, it's really weird having something blown up so big because normally we just mat it on paper and hang it in the walls of our classroom, but that was really cool. Yeah. So are you going to be on the lookout for this in your neighborhood? Yes, I am. I hope it'll come by. That would be cool. Well, the, the class that she was taking was called, you know, it's called graphic design, and in there the students get to learn a little bit about what it takes to be a designer, some design theory, um, principles and elements of design, color theory. They utilize the Adobe Creative Cloud software, so that's Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. Um, this project she pretty much did all in uh, what's called Adobe Illustrator. Um, <clears throat> so they kind of go through a process where they come up with their ideas, do some rough sketches in a sketchbook. Um, that kind of helps them come up with their ideas and it also helps me to you know kind of see what their ideas are so that way I can help them um, you know figure out how to make it happen on the software. And if there are students who watch this who are interested in enrolling they just have to obviously work through their counselor. Um, yeah through their, through their home schools you just yeah. let them know they want to take the class and then their counselors kind of working into their schedule and, and get it all worked out for them. What are you going to say when you see it around town? Um, I'll just point it out to my parents and then um, say how much of helping the environment. <laughs>